Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gutex. I am here at NorCal Regionals 2013 in San Jose, California, with the winner of Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Street Fighter IV, the current reigning champion of the world, Infiltration. Congratulations. We do this every week, it seems like. But I wanted to ask you, you played Sien in the grand finals of Street Fighter IV, and the bracket, he reset the bracket 3-0. to zero. What sort of adjustments did you make after you lost the first set? When I lost the first set, uh, it, it felt like I was going in a little bit too hard at times. And since Akuma uh, has very little health, uh, a few hits here and there added up to a lot. So I decided to tell myself to keep it a, s a little more conserv conservative and uh, get the little chances I get to try to maximize damage. And luckily, I was able to you know, come out on top and, uh, and win the tournament this time. So two years ago at NCR, you lost to Daigo's Yoon in Street Fighter 4. Were you disappointed that Daigo was not in attendance this year? I wasn't aware that he was supposed to come and I found out later after everyone found out that he wasn't coming. I mean, he, I'm sure he has a very good reason for not coming and um, I'm a, as a big fan of his play, I'm a, I'm a, I, was always, I was always a big fan of his and since I also like playing against very strong players, I was very looking forward to playing him if he was coming but I'm sure we will uh, see each other again I hope to uh, play with him one more time next time who would you say is your strongest is is like your biggest rival now I mean clearly you've shown that you can beat Daigo on multiple occasions but is there anybody in particular that gives you the hardest time when you fight uh, to be honest, every every person that plays next to me in tournament is is a rival for me personally. I it's 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 really difficult to just pinpoint some some one or group of people as my rivals because I don't know all the players out there in the world. And every time I sit down next to a person in tournament, I consider them the most formidable opponent I've ever fought. And I give them my all. I don't fool around. Uh, and doing, doing my best to uh, give the best fight I have. Um, I noticed that even though now you're, you and your training partner Laugh are not currently sponsored, Laugh still coaches you when you're playing. What sorts of things does he tell you when you're playing? And what sorts of things do you guys have in your notes? I'm sure a lot of people are curious about what Laugh tells me uh, when I'm playing. Um, surprisingly, it's nothing special. It's things like, you're doing OK, uh, that was bad, you know, take it easy, go slow. You know, those kind of uh, companionship that, that, that makes you feel like you have somebody on your side is, is, the, is the largest portion of what he tells me. It's, it's not like he controls me and tells me what to do every, in every little situation. So uh, the coaching aspect is hard to, it's hard to call it coaching since it's more, more of two friends do, that like the game, uh, talking about the game as they usually do anywhere else, either in tournament or casuals. Uh, as for notes, uh, I, I believe I've mentioned this uh, some, some other in, in another interview. Uh, there are currently 39 characters in uh, Arcade Edition uh, 2012 right now. And it, it's become increasingly difficult to remember all the setups and notes about each character. So uh, I've been keeping notes for each characters on setups and such. That's what's, uh, what's in my notes. Now that you've been unsponsored for a while, are you currently looking to get sponsored by another team or company? We, we are, we as in uh, myself and Laugh are currently uh, free agents uh, by choice at the moment. Uh, but of course, 
if there are companies or teams uh, with a good environment for us to continue gaming as a profession, of course, why would I not want to be a part of that? Uh, but at the moment, I'm trying to take it slow, uh, take one step at a time, and not to be and to not be so hasty about the whole process. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't. I don't have any updates on this at the moment. I'm, I'll, I will take my time and look through the options that are available out there. Um, and hopefully, if there's a good news out there. I uh, hopefully I'll shoot. I hope to be able to share them soon. It's clear that you know you are the master of Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but do you ever play other fighting games? Like for example, do you see yourself trying to play Marvel or let's say Dive Kick? Of course, I I always want to learn new games and play other games. I I personally I think Marvel is a very fun game, and I enjoy watching it a lot. But um, I don't want it to be in such a way that I rush into any game that's popular out there without giving um, much much thought to myself when when I'm playing it. Um, I in in that sense, I plan to take it slow and learn a few games that are, that are interesting to me step by step I have a lot of catch up to do uh, in certain games like Marvel because there are a lot of uh, depth already uh, developed into it that I, I'm not aware of so that's that, a thought of learning new game is always in me but new games might come to me very slow because I have to take it one step at a time and catch up to everyone well infiltration congratulations again on your continued success thank you for the time Thank you for watching GameSpot. My name is Gutex. Stay tuned for more coverage here from NCR. We'll see you guys later.